In today's video, I'm going to be going over what I personally think is the best water deck in the game right now. I think Solo Articuno is really fun. I think it's a good deck. I just think it's not consistent enough. So you always open with Articuno when you only run Articuno. But the problem is, is if you don't open Articuno Misty and you also don't open Articuno Misty flipping at least one heads, then, you know, it's not that impressive compared to a Starmie, which like, especially if you're going second, you can attach an energy, attach an energy, and then start hitting for 90. And if you have a Misty, you can just start hitting for 90 on turn one, which will kill everything over the course of the two turns besides a Venusaur. So I think the Starmie adds more consistency to the deck, even though you're adding more basics in the form of the Staryu. So you can think of it as like Articuno's uh, ceiling for power is a little bit higher, but the floor is also way, way, way lower. Whereas the Starmie Articuno deck, the power level is like, you know, so barely different, but then you also have way more consistency and you can also apply pressure more consistently than just the pure Articuno list. The other thing is, is if you start off with an Articuno and you build up a Starmie in the back, if the Articuno goes down, you can then uh, swap in the Starmie while you build up your secondary Articuno. The Starmie can absorb a hit for you, then you can retreat for free into the backup Articuno. And so that's one of the other utilities that I think is really strong with this deck. The free retreat is just uh, very, very strong. And it also makes you way less susceptible to getting Sabrina, which is a big deal because if you have two Articunos and only one of them has energy on it and they snipe the other one with a Sabrina, then unless you've got like a bunch of X speeds or something, you're losing a lot of tempo and the Starmie helps with that as well. So I really do think this deck just overall is, is way better. You know, you're running the Pokeballs and the Professor's Research for more consistency the Misty for the cheese, uh, X speed to get out of situations, um, potion for healing and, you know, Sabrina and red card for, um, disruption, you know, so it's just, it's basically a pile of like basically the best cards in the game, uh, really, really close to it. I mean, in a vacuum, Starmie is arguably the best card in the game. So with that being said, let's get into the battles. I, um, have, I did get a lot of subs yesterday. Um, I say a lot for me, it's a lot. 25 in one day is a lot. And, um, you know, people have been going to the stream. So I just wanted to thank you guys for that. I'm trying to hit 5,000. I appreciate it. And let's get into the games. Well, we opened the dream. All right, two heads wins the game, people. <laughs> yes! Oh, he's cooked. <laughs> I'm actually going to start with the star you. Because I have the research, so I might be able to draw into the star me. And it just hits harder a little bit faster. Or a lot faster, a whole turn's a lot faster. Mirror match. Mm, sorta. They're also playing their Greninja line. Uh the best deck at the moment? Um. Hmm. Some blue deck with Misty. Might be solo Articuno, but a lot of people are trying to figure out what the best word version of Articuno. Basically, Articuno with Starmie. Articuno with Greninja, Articuno by itself. Um, personally, I think Executor Venusaur is really, really, really underrated. Um, I have an hour long stream uh, from, I believe, last night, um, where I went undefeated for an hour. No, excuse me, it was the night before last, I think. And um, Pikachu is certainly up there. There's a few different variants. And Charizard is, people consider it up there, but I don't think it's that great, to be honest. Moltres is like too luck dependent. And um, stage two decks, finding 
you know, like the Charmeleon and the Charizard when there's not that much draw power is sometimes hard, especially if your opponent's red carding you. So I can say for certain the best three decks is some version of Articuno, some version of Pikachu, and I think uh, Executor Venusaur. That's what I think. But there's be a lot of people that disagree with that, but I think they're coping. And my opponent here is going for all three lines. So they're basically, instead of trying to choose between, they're trying to run them all, which is interesting. So now if they attack me back, I'm going to take out the Starmie. Yeah, and this is one of the reasons why you don't do what they're doing. They're not going to attack me forever. So, yeah, I mean, it's literally just checkmate now. They should concede. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to draw this later. And now they can't attack me for two turns. And I'm going to set up another Articuno or Starmie by then. So they don't have a way to win. Mm-hmm. I'm jealous of that Starmie art, though. It's really cool. Yeah, and then a pass. Yeah, so yeah, they should have conceded a couple turns ago. Could you reword that? I'm playing on an iPad. Didn't realize it was out of uh, screenshot. But... Oh, oh, good, good. I'm glad you got that answered. Oh, we might be cooked. If they go Misty and I don't have another bench Pokemon, I'm dead. They do need three heads. Thank goodness. Without Starmie access, I think I have to uh, try and Misty this Articuno. And I got one, so I can hit him for 40. That's not nothing. Two heads and there wouldn't be a game here. Yeah, the uh, executor list is, I think, really good. I like it a lot. That's honestly my favorite deck at the moment. I've just been playing it a lot, so I'm trying to take a break from it. Articuno has always been my favorite of the legendary birds, so 
wanted to play some of this too. Oh, this is the guy that was trying to play all three earlier, and I beat him earlier. Unless it's just another guy that's also running the Greninja, Starmie, and Articuno line, but I doubt it. Well, I'm definitely not going to red card them. Um, I guess I'm going here, because I don't know when I'm going to draw Starmie. And I'll probably get two more turns to fully power it, so... And a Sabrina wins me the game, even if they star me. Cool, they didn't draw it. Nice. Um, don't know when I'll see star me, so. Good thing they're starting off with Ralts and not Mewtwo. gonna let him minus. Also, I don't want to keep drawing my red cards late game if I get red carded myself. <laughs> if they were part of the Church of One Ralts, they'd have Ralts Mewtwo here and be well off. That's true. It's very true. My least favorite deck to play against is um, Moltres Zard, because Moltres makes me flip out when they go second, and having Moltres, it just seems insane. Um, I think i just go for the cheese here, right? My favorite deck to play against is Pikachu, probably. I only needed one heads, so. No ramping for Mewtwo here. Yeah, Mult that's, that's exactly right. Moltres is better than anything that it's trying to power up. That's 100% correct. I just need 280 swings. I don't know why he brought that Mewtwo up. Yeah, you literally can't do it in time. It's one retreat that doesn't stop anything. You're more than welcome to KO the star you. Yeah. Ooh, good top deck. Let's pot of greed. Yeah, he can still win with multiple X speeds, can't he? He also has he has to have X he has to have them and Gardevoir, though, doesn't he? Or he can get killed by a double Sabrina. I mean there was an out for him, but it's like really unlikely. Yeah.
Oh, cool. I started with Star You and Star Me. Is this the same guy? Maybe I can draw into Misty for next turn and cheese him. I am just going to make him one card shorter. Alright, hopefully he gets the Meowth or the Jinx, not the Mewtwo. And he got the Mewtwo. I mean, if he didn't bench the Mewtwo, he probably didn't have it, so probably shouldn't have red carded him. I can't knock it out anyway. I'm gonna evolve so I don't get red carded into Oblivion. Um, I am gonna Sabrina him, however. Next turn is Curlia, I hit for 90, and then, um, wait a minute. Next turn, Curlia. Yeah, he can kill it next turn. I need to set up something else by then. But he has to have the Gardevoir. And the Curlia right now. That sucks. Oh wait, no it doesn't. Please knock it out. Please knock it out. Please knock it out. Please knock it out. Yes. I think if he doesn't knock it out there, I lose the game. Like guaranteed. If I don't top deck in X speed. So I think that actually helps. He just helped me win. And I'm not going to red card him because he does not have Ralts. Now I'm going to build up the Articuno, and then whenever the Starmie is threatened by anything, I'm going to retreat, and then I have a 140 Articuno. So as long as I can kill this Mewtwo before he can give it, get it to 4, I'm okay. What he sh should do is maybe retreat it and try and build it up. Maybe he's got some X speeds. I'm going to read this to make sure. 20 more damage, so 70. So I'm just going to go here. I don't want to draw these anyway. And now I can Sabrina the back line even if he draws another Mewtwo. Yeah. Yeah, he did throw this one. What's he gonna do? Retreat into the Mewtwo? That's still fine. Like, I don't think there's a way to do anything now. His next turn, he still can't do the 150, and I'm gonna do 90 first. So I think if he didn't KO that Star You, I think I, I think he won. Ah, uh, I top deck this arena. Yeah, he shouldn't have KO'd that star you. 
Yeah, I think he could have not KO'd the Staryu and also body blocked. Okay. I'm getting energy first, so unless I get mistied, I'm okay. Um, yes, yeah, that's fine. I was trying to see if I could build up the star you so I could start building up the second star me. My favorite card is Executor right now, though, for sure. Yeah. That's exactly right. The whole point of early game Sabrina is to deny energy. Late game is to get the final KO. Huh. We did the same thing. And then 20, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't matter. Okay. I just don't want to draw the potion. Oh, well. I get red carded I just want to draw other things uh sure are they gonna try and misty me to death I think that's actually the plan Okay, they must have just drawn that, otherwise it would have just brought up the Staryu having a free retreat. And they're actually gonna, uh, yeah. Uh, without seeing Starmie, I'm gonna play the Articuno. And I am just going to try and cheese with the Misty. Same person. I keep getting the same person more than once. My goodness, a handful of trainers, huh? Nah. Nothing. Yeah. Mm hmm. Trying to set up the Starmie, maybe? Okay, we both failed, which is good. But he went second, so he's getting energy first, which is bad.
I really wish I had another X speed here. <laughs> Maybe that'll find their Articuno. And it does. This could be obnoxious. Gonna start setting up the Starmie. Good top deck. Not a good flip. All right, cool. So now I can X speed and KO that thing. That's why I set up the Starmie the turn before. Yes. I just, I don't know why so many of the Articuno decks are running like all these different lines. Like I think you either run solo Articuno or you run it with one other line, probably Greninja or Starmie. I don't think you can run all these different things. Okay, I'm going second, so my opponent can't turn one Moltres me now. I just need to draw a Misty off the top. My hand wasn't that great, so... Misty. Darn it. My hand's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I, just, I play a dueling book, or as I still call it, dueling network on occasion. Until I see him evolve, I'm not going to red card him. I want him to have to have the Curlia right now. Okay, they had it anyway. I have to go for it. No. I needed one heads and I could two turn this thing. That's really sad. Do I think they have Gardevoir? I don't believe it. I don't believe it at all. I don't know what's going on in, in mainstream Pokemon card game. I just hate the mechanics. He actually had it. He had the Curlia and the Gardevoir. Oh my goodness.
Oh, TCG Yu-Gi-Oh, gotcha. Current Pokemon is fun. I don't think there's a line here that wins me the game, huh? Like, I can't do anything disruptive. I'm slow. Like, I have to top deck a Misty and get a Heads, right? That's it. Against the goat. Nine likes. I really appreciate it, guys. I think after this, I'm going to go back to uh, Executor. Um... It has to be this. Because if they don't, if they don't KO it, then I'm done. Yeah, but how do they win after I deal 80? They have to get another Mewtwo, right? One, two, three, four, five. I ran out of fingers. Okay, so he wants to not attack me for 60. Got both Sabrinas left too. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow.